But I want to share with you all a link that I have used a lot in my journey of like becoming better at using React with TypeScript. And this is a great site that you can basically go through. It's like a cheat sheet for all the different things you potentially might need to convert a JavaScript React project to a TypeScript React project. So I would highly recommend if you want to become a better React TypeScript developer, read through this cheat sheet. They have tons of information about like the things that you're going to run into most. Let me just go ahead and like give you an example, right? Again, this is like a cheat sheet. It's not like a full on walkthrough. It just has like little tips and tricks that you can do. So here is like a good example of like some different ways that you can set up your component props. Um, you could do children is equal to react node. You could do props is equal to this. I'm going to show you this example um, in my code, but then I'll kind of like show you some other cool things over on the left. So in my code over here, I had a categories filter, which had some initial uh, styles here, right? It has flex and space too, but I wanted to allow someone to overwrite those styles. So I wanted to be able to pass in class names as a prop. So I'll say class name. Um, and I had to like type that, right? So in order to type class name, you'd have to come in here and add a string. And what usually happens is as you figure out that there's more and more things and properties that you wanna like just pass through, what you often do is you keep on adding various things. A better approach is you can actually have this entire type extend this react.component props without ref, and then you pass it the type of element that is typically your top level parent here. So here's a div. I'm gonna go ahead and set this to the div. If you were to come and change this to a button, you probably wanna come and change this to a button. And this is going to basically allow all of the things that you're passing into this component they just inherent the default props of if you're just like normally coding with a div. So I'm just going to go ahead and say class name here and notice that automatically I didn't have to define it in this type. It basically gets the type from here and then I'm using it here. Uh, another really cool thing, side note, Tailwind Merge. If you want to basically allow people to merge some underlying Tailwind classes, you might want to use TW Merge. Um, this basically allows me to overwrite flex if I want to or overwrite the space X2 that comes in via class name. Super useful when building components. Let's go to the categories filter and notice that now I can actually pass whatever I want here, right? I can go ahead and do like on click and I can pass whatever random function here if I wanted to. And it doesn't complain, right? And the reason this isn't complaining is because I'm extending this. If I were to remove this, notice that it's going to complain about class name and it's probably going to complain about on click because it doesn't understand that this is an actual like JSX component. Okay, so definitely super useful. One of the most entry level things you're gonna be needing where you're building out React with TypeScript. So going back to this, I mean, they got tons of stuff. They got examples for functional components. If you wanna type them, if you wanna add explicit types, you can do this. If you wanna just do like um, explicit naming here, they kind of recommend that you don't really do this. This is kind of uh, discouraged, they say, to use react.functional component. They got an example for like how you use hooks with TypeScript. They have examples with how you can use classes. Uh, context, if you use context with TypeScript and React, you'll notice that it gets kind of annoying with how to use it. So you can read through here and get good information. Anyway, that's all I want to share with you. It's a really, really useful um, web page that I personally used. And I wanted to pass that through for anyone who hasn't seen it before. I'll put this in the description link and I highly recommend just putting that in your bookmark. Um, this is actually, if I look over here, I got this thing bookmarked, my very first bookmark, because I think it's very important. Yeah, that's about it. So if you guys enjoyed uh, this little tip and trick about TypeScript and React, let me know. Leave a comment, subscribe, press the bell icon. And like always, I have a Discord channel. You're welcome to join. If you want to find a place to hang out with some other developers, the link will also be in the description below. Have a good day and happy coding.